like, it's like well, we were. I, had, we I had, had a housewife moment like that with someone too. That are I you going to say who? No, but I I have since written her and apologized for being so emotional when we met. But I do not appreciate the stuff that she had shared about these last two months of my life. I did not enjoy mm. her commentary. I did not enjoy her opinion of me. And so I called her on it. But I have since been like, I'm not happy that I had my housewife moment with you, you know, but it, Listen, it we happens. All get pushed. Because we all get pushed. I understand why the housewives act the way yeah, they do now. Pushed. So that's Heather talking about our uh, interaction in the VIP lounge on Sunday at BravoCon. Uh, yes, she did unblock me. Yes, she did send me a DM and stopped short of an apology, but she absolutely knows that she was heated and probably shouldn't have had a conversation with me as I was trying to leave the VIP room. Um, but I don't hate her. I don't feel like I was unfair in talking about her feuds with Justin Martindale, Jeff Lewis, and Krista Lamas. Um, you know, when Kelly Dodd says things and texts Jeff Lewis and says, you know, that's not true. I was with Heather and she did not go over to the restaurant and dig through the sand to look for that missing earring. You know, I'm gonna wonder like how this is all gonna play out. I'm gonna talk about things because I am a Jeff Lewis fan account. And this is of interest to me. I know Heather has said, I'm not a housewife. I don't wanna be involved in this and talked about. But I mean, you are involved in this. I know, you know, you talk gossip and now you've become part of the gossip because you and other friends of yours that are in the public eye, like Jeff Lewis and Justin Martindale, are feuding, but I'm also hearing things that don't make sense. Um, your story has changed a little bit. I don't understand when at the live show, you played the the video of the jeweler saying, look at this, the, the gold is rubbing off and you can see the nickel. I mean, couldn't you tell that they were costume jewelry if you say they were? So why did you write a check for $3,000 to replace the earrings? Like, there, I just have questions as a listener, and I'm going to chat about that. But I feel like, you know, you told me on Sunday, I've watched every single TikTok video you, you've made about me. Well, I've made a lot of really nice ones, and so I don't feel like you've watched them all. Um, I think there's a playlist on my TikTok at Jeff Lewis Obsessed. I know there's a playlist on my YouTube channel, Jeff Lewis Obsessed, called Heather McDonald. Um, I've posted everything on Instagram too, but I don't think they make it as easy. You'd have to scroll down my grid, which is more annoying. But I wish that you felt I'd been fair about you because I'm just talking about all the events. And if some things don't make sense to me, I have brought it up. But I don't feel I've been fair to you. I don't feel I've bashed you as a woman. I, haven't, I, I don't hate you at all. And I just wish we would come to an understanding that you also keep bringing this up just like Jeff Lewis is, which makes me then turn around and talk about it because people DM me saying, oh my God, I want to hear what you think about this. They keep talking about this or this happened. I want to hear your thoughts on it. So anyways, just here to say, I absolutely don't hate you. I feel I've been super fair in talking about all this feud and drama. So...